Realizing the extreme degree of his advanced decrepitude, Darth Crait became increasingly obsessed by two goals, exterminating the real Emperor Rohan Fell. Having discovered the man on the throne he had killed in his haste had only been a decoy, a body double, guard for the real Emperor Fell, and tracking down the last Skywalker, a young man named Cade, son of Cole Skywalker, a descendant of Luke and Anakin Skywalkers, and Morgan Cord, who, in the guise of Nina Kalexti, served as a moth on the High Council of the Fell Empire prior to Kraid's ascendancy. It had been Calixti whom Crate, then still called the One Sith, had approached to pit the fell Imperial Moths against the Yuzhan Vong, the New Jedi Order, and the Galactic Alliance. Crate eventually captured Cade Skywalker during a series of battles against the remaining disparate rebels against his new Sith Empire, but Cade following humiliating most of Crate's most loyal fellow Sith Lords in individual combat, only barely escaped defeat by Crate by the sudden appearance of Morgan Cord, a.k.a. Moff Nina Kalikste, who shot Crate in the back, momentarily stunning him. With his inner circle of personal warriors bested so easily, and his hopes of using Cade to gain some secret to attain immortality be so quickly dashed off a cliff. Crate flew into a rage and redoubled his campaigns of slaughter against rebels within his new Sith Empire, exterminating or internment camping the Mon Calamari populations, for the Mon Calamari councils having supported the Galactic Alliance remnant. However, nearing blind desperation to find Skywalker and cure his advanced and painful aging process, Crate, along with his acolyte Sith, Darth Weirlock, allowed himself to be led blindly to Had Abaddon, following reports sent in the form of his scouts and advanced stormtroopers being transformed using Sith magic into ancient Sith spawn rag cools of Cade Skywalker being held captive there. When Crate arrived, he was betrayed by the force spirit of ancient Black Legion and Korriban colonist Karnes Moore, whom had summoned him there, and fell into a trap set by Cade Skywalker and his allies in the New Jedi Order, and finally, being completely ambushed and literally thrown off a cliff, Darth Curry was nearly killed by his own acolyte, Darth Weirlock, who subjected him to repeated volleys of Sith lightning until Crate was totally subdued. But Darth Crate lived on, and was preserved in a stasis chamber on Korriban in the Temple of Zozan by Darth Weirlock. Subsequently, Crate was discovered to have left his own life-supporting armor in the tomb. He had healed himself from the Vong experiments done on him by Verger, replacing his arm and left eye now some 125 years behind him. And when the other members of his ascendant new Sith Empire Dark Council, his confederacy of carefully chosen warriors as Dark Lords of the Sith, rushed to ascertain the truth about their leader's supposed death. Crate himself reappeared in the deep catacomb of tombs beneath the Zozan Temple. Crate revealed his secret to them then, that he had built an army of Sith troopers, cybernetically implanted force sensitives he had abducted from their families as newborns, and had designed plans for a new Sith starfighter to serve as warships. Then Darth Krayt journeyed to Coruscant, and, following faking defeat to win a deadly lightsaber duel with him, slew the treacherous Darth Weirlock. The newly reborn Darth Krayt and his new Sith Empire unleashed the Hounds of Hell across the galaxy. 
however, with tactics and strategies fit for a true Dark Lord. Vinsoth fell to the Sith Empire's attacks. Borosk was returned to Sith Imperial control, and Falin was bombed for refusing to ally to the Sith Lords. Lastly, Kraid planned an attack on the world Tyvus, supposedly home to the hidden Jedi Temple, but kept the existence and location of his secret weapon, the Sith Troopers in his own design Sith Dragon Ships, for only his fellow Dark Lord Darth Nihil whom Crate tasked as commander of this reinforcement fleet. It was believed on both sides their victory was assured, as each believed they held more Sabak cards up their sleeve than their rival. As Darth Crate's fleet entered Tyvus space, the first trap was sprung when two additional factions suddenly entered the fray, the fleets of both the deposed former Emperor Rohan Fell and those stolen Imperius class Star Destroyer warships under the command of Raider Admiral Gar Stasi, whom had allied himself with Fell's resistance movement, seeing the brutality inflicted on the peaceful inhabitants by Crate on Mon Calamari, which had been an act of retribution on Crate's part, in turn, for the theft of the Imperius Star Destroyer by Admiral Stasi. For some time, the battle seemed to sway in favor of the Jedi's allies, Rohan Fell and Admiral Stasi. Then Crate ordered in Darth Nile's Sith Trooper Armada, in their refined and newly built dragon ships. The Sith Troopers killed everyone on the battlefield indiscriminately, and once the Alliance's twin fleets were largely deflected and retreated into hyperspace, the Sith Troopers of the Dark Council stood victorious above the wreckage of the fleet organized by the Imperial Council of Moths. All of Crate's enemies were rubble beneath his feet, but his mind remained fixated around Cade Skywalker, and he still intended to turn him to Sith allegiance. Finally, the routed forces, still loyal, to the deposed former Emperor Rohan Fell. With a few of the remaining moths to survive the terrible onslaught of the Sith troopers above Tyvus, faced certain doom being hunted down by Krait, or could risk a suicide mission to symbolically liberate Coruscant. They opted for the latter, and Fell having secretly worked with the captured Sith witch Darth Maladai to create a biological weapon called Omega Red to target only the Sith Lords, believed they would still be able to pull off a few surprises as well. They were wrong, as it turned out, that Darth Krait had sent Darth Maladai to develop Omega Red for the purpose of contaminating and killing all on Coruscant, except the Sith Dark Lords, who alone were immune. In 138 ABY, the Fell Alliance fleet attacked Sith Imperial Coruscant, with Cade Skywalker disabling the planetary defenses from the surface to allow the fleet to freely bombard the once majestic galactic capital planet. While the fell imperialist fleet carpet-bombed the Sith imperialist city world from above, Cade sought out and confronted Darth Krait in the capital city itself on the surface below. Cade dueled Krait, and Krait eventually convinced he had turned Cade Skywalker to the dark side, lowered his defenses for only the briefest of instants, and Cade, proclaiming himself a Jedi, thrust his lightsaber through Krait's heart. Knowing Krait's Force spirit would inevitably return if allowed to live on following his bodily death, Cade then began piloting a suicide run in his mother Morrigan ship, aiming its prow directly toward the star at the system's core, Coruscant Prime. 
Finally, following conflicting visions occurring to him from both the four spirits of Crate and his ancestor, Luke Skywalker, Cade Skywalker abandoned ship at the last moment and sent the remains of Darth Crate hurtling into incineration in the solar umbra of Coruscant Prime. Although this act instantly broke the Sith Empire, and allowed the Alliance forces to reform the political structure into the Galactic Federation Triumvirate. The remaining Dark Counselors, his personal warriors and surviving Sith troopers, remain loyal to Darth Krait's one Sith cult's vision, but decided to approach their quest for galactic dominance rather than by military might, instead by infiltrating all the planetary governments to eventually destroy the new galactic political system from within.